Hello Caffeine Fiends and welcome to another coffee review for www.getbean.com. I'm Vince the Mean Bean Machine and today we're looking at Argyle Coffee Roasters Kenyan Kiso Estate Coffee. Now Argyle Coffee Roasters are one of my absolute favourite coffee roasters of all time. I'm really hoping to get up to Tinnerbrook in Argyle, Scotland uh, at some point later this year just to check them out. I was supposed to see them last year. It became a whole thing. Doesn't matter. So um, someone actually bought me this Kenyan Kiso Estate coffee, which I'm quite excited about because it's been a hot minute since I've had Kenyan coffee. I don't have it a lot. Um, because I think Kenyan coffee is makes really great black coffee, but I don't drink a lot of black coffee. It's usually zesty and and and, and has a bit of a, a ping to it, um, and it can be kind of refreshing and, and and fruity sometimes, and and often quite floral, which is not necessarily things I look for, but I I think it makes a great black coffee, and I'm more of a kind of latte drinker. But anyway. I've got this bag uh, from them. Someone actually bought this for me. And on I mean, my research, it's about 13 quid a bag, which is very expensive. However, because Argyle coffee roasters are amazing and Kenyan coffee is expensive, it's a long way away. And they are probably, for my money, producing some of the best coffee in the world right now. Um, again, not necessarily something I, I gravitate, uh, gravitate towards, but like I say, really good coffee if you like those flavours. So looking at these flavour notes, we've got red currant, fruity, as I said, plum, still fruity, floral, just says floral, doesn't, doesn't mess about, no kind of jasmine or whatever, just floral. <laughs> Fine, lovely. Um, but those are, are notes I'm sort of expecting. It's interesting that it leads with the, the berry note, the fruitier notes. I would have perhaps expected something more citrusy, more zesty, as I said, but a bit of fruitiness and then floral. So I think this will come out better as a black coffee, as an espresso shot. We will do the usual espresso shot oat latte, but Argyle coffee, let's see how this works out. Now, their previous two uh, coffees I've reviewed have been a five star and I think like a four and a half star. So I have massively high hopes for this. Um, so yeah, it's from the Kiso Estate in the foothills of the Aberdare mountain range. High altitude and rich volcanic soils provide, provide, provide perfect coffee ground conditions. Argyle coffee, you need a uh, proofreader because you've got provide there twice. Um, temperate climate, places of drizzle. Kiambu means place of drizzles. I like that. That's kind of nice, isn't it? Oh, where do you live? Uh, the place of drizzles. That's what they should call the UK, really. Um, Beautifully bright and zesty, ha, I told you, bright and zesty with fruity berry and floral notes. All right, all right, fantastic. Let's grind it up, see how it goes. Here we are with our espresso shot, looking good. Not a strong aroma, particularly, but you give it a whiff and that berry smell really comes through. 
really kind of red currant, kind of strong acidic pin, um, which is, is what I expect. And, and just from the smell alone, I really feel this is gonna really catch me on the tip of the tongue with that kind of acidic floral, you know, bite. Um, shouldn't be too harsh because it's floral, so it'll be slightly delicate, and, but it's, it'll definitely be there by my accounts. I may be uh, wrong, but I'm pretty, I'm pretty confident in my, my uh, assessment skills. So here goes. Just smells so great. Anyway. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. That's great. That's great. So instantly there's a very fruitiness. And I want to say a smoothness, but I, I, it's not that smooth because you get that acidic bite, but it's not rough at the back of your throat and it doesn't catch the, the tip of the tongue. It's somewhere, you know, on the back of the tongue, but not the throat. And it just kind of clutches a little bit and you go, you go, oh, oh, there's something, there's something to that. And this rich through fruitiness really kind of, like I say, of red berries is, is the, the, the one thing that really comes through. I'm not getting a lot of the floral, floral notes at the moment. I think because that acidity really kind of overpowers, or not overpowers, but powers through everything else. So it's almost, to my mind, I would say kind of red berries and then like a, a, a layer of, of uh, brown sugar, maybe? Molasses? I wouldn't say molasses because the mouthfeel isn't syrupy, but I, I would say perhaps brown sugar. So, but that, that acidic bite is really there. But it's not, you know, when you kind of go, ah, that's very acidic. It's, it's very smooth. It doesn't catch, you know, at the back of the throat. You just kind of go, oh, wow. There's, there's an acidity there, but it's it's very smooth for, for an acidity. It's, it's very hard to explain. Um, but that's what this YouTube channel does, so I'm going to try. I'll tell you what, that full tone is there, but don't you just, the, the berries really kind of draw your attention. So, yeah, I guess you get this little, little bite, this little bite at the tip of your tongue, and these kind of floral, rolling waves of floral notes kind of then push up, but there's a, there's a, there's something sharp to it. Because that sharpness pushes all the way through from the acidic bite, you don't recognize the floral tones unless you're really kind of paying attention. So there's, there's this sharp bite and go, yes, Acidic berries, very tart. It pushes through, and that that tartness rolls away into a, a more floral note. But there's no roughness at the back of your throat, so I would I still wouldn't call it smooth because uh, just because of my association, I'd say chocolatey caramel sweet. But by no means is it rough. And I really enjoy that, and I reckon if you put that as a black coffee so with a bit of water, that would be a fantastic black coffee. Genuinely fantastic. Um, do I think it will work as a latte? No. I don't think Kenyan coffees work particularly well as a latte. I don't think I've particularly found one that does because of this acidity. That being said, I'm open to being challenged being amazed, having my mind, you know, opened, my eyes opened, my mind expanded. So we'll give it a go as a latte, just because that's what I drink. I like a latte, but it's a very nice espresso shot. I think it would be fantastic as a black coffee. Let's see if an oat latte does anything for it.
not one of my best pours. I uh, was fighting an uphill battle from the start. I had uh, the end of uh, oat milk carton. It was frothy and then I over frothed it and whatever. I'm, anyway, a lot of bubbles. I'm now at a point where I think the texture is reasonable um, for the purposes of this review. But I'm aware that was not a good pour. Please do not leave comments. Anyway, so do I think anything is going to be dampened by the oatmeal? Yes, I expect that, that sharpness, that acidity, that tartness to be rolled back. Um, hopefully then more of the floral flavours come through, but floral flavours and notes and tones or whatever you want to call them are very delicate, typically. Flowers, delicate, floral flavours, bit kind of flowery, obviously. Um, so... I sort of hope they'd come through a bit more, but also, is the milk just going to squash that? Who knows? Is, a, is, a, is more richness going to come out? Am I going to get more of that zestiness, as it uh, claimed earlier? Let's have a sweep and see. Disappointingly not a lot coming through at all and it's largely just milkiness which i sort of expected i thought there might be a i don't know maybe my my shot wasn't very good for this but it seemed fine to me oh there we go there we go So, God, I've got lemon milk in these flash, look at the state of me. Wiping my face with my cuff, my mother would kill me. Anyway, the notes don't particularly power through, but there is a nice, <laughs> I think that flor floridity, that's not a word, those floral tones do come through. That acidity is just kind of killed off and it becomes a nice floral really mellow drink and it's very pleasant but i think it's one for those that like a milky drink or like a really milky coffee because it doesn't power through particularly there's, there's that nice kind of light floral it's a bit like having you know hot milk and you know, like rose petals or something. It's 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 a nice refreshing element to it that just kind of cuts through the milk. So it's not it's not like a, a milky drink or a or a you know something you have before bed or whatever. There is a freshness to it, um, which is actually really pleasant. Bizarrely, I think it works very well as a latte for those that aren't into kind of strong coffee drinks as well as working incredibly well as an espresso despite the fact that that tone from the espresso yes is is reels back so so dramatically that it's hard to identify so uh initial thoughts are definitely one for the black coffee drinkers but if you like a creamy, milky latte, which most latte drinkers do, it's the point of a latte, um, then I don't think you'd be turned off by this either. It'd be interesting, maybe maybe as a flat white or something, where you just have a little less foam, and you just kind of go, all right, I need a bit, bit more stronger. Maybe that's where it would come into its own. Anyway, you know, arguing the, the minutia of it isn't going to get us anywhere, particularly. Well, I enjoyed that. I enjoyed that on both fronts. So I'm going to have to go away and think about it. Um, but it's, it annoys me because I always go, oh, I don't like floral or zesty. And every time a Kenyan coffee comes my way, I'm like, yeah, that's great. Um, so maybe I need to readjust how I think about kind of coffees from African origins. I do like Ethiopian coffee as well. Um, 
Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to go away, write down some final thoughts, and we'll let you know. In the meantime, hit those like and subscribe buttons. Do check us out at www.getbeam.com for reviews, equipment reviews, cafe reviews, and anything to do with coffee, really. See you in a bit. Our coffee have a fantastic record on this coffee blog, so uh, can they do it again? Uh, so looking at their Kenyan Kiso estate, rich and fruity bite as an espresso that plays out fantastically well as a black coffee. It really does. Really is. You, you, you smooth out that kind of initial sharpness from the espresso. Um, I mean, it's a great espresso. If you're an espresso drinker, don't give it a go. And it will really kind of liven you up, I think. But if you're a black coffee drinker, I think this is really where it comes into its own. Uh, like a, a bit of hot water just to stretch out that sharpness um oh fantastic which is something that surprised me i'm not particularly a black coffee drinker a lot and this is really great as a black coffee um so yeah if you're a black coffee drinker get on it personally uh loses a lot of character with milk um or oat milk in my case hence the uh you know exclamation marks well not exclamation marks god i'm a professional copywriter and I can't think of what they're called quotation marks anyway uh, but the subtleties of the floral notes come to the fore a bit more so you do have to kind of search for them you do have to know what you're looking for but they're there they're there so I don't think it naturally lends itself to an espresso but I don't think an espresso drinker would go Ugh. I think they'd just kind of go well that's nice creamy not getting a lot from it but and then I think someone who's looking for those notes might kind of go, oh, that is a really mild floral note to it that just creates a level of freshness that juxtaposes really kind of nicely with the creaminess of the milk. So, you know what? It works, it works. Not, it wouldn't be my first choice for a latte, but it works. So, what was the score? Well, I'll go coffee. You've done it again with four stars. Um, I couldn't give you the full five, just just because I'm a latte drinker. Um, and 13 pounds, man. I, I'm not having a pop. Like, that's the way coffee's going. It's getting more expensive. African coffee as well. Um, cost of living's just gone up, man. Don't get me started on that. Um, so, so really nice speciality coffee is becoming a luxury now. Um, a, you know, like a proper luxury. Anyway. I'm really glad I got it as a gift because I wouldn't have tasted it. I wouldn't have spent 13 quid on it. I would have balked at that. Um, I just got, well, I'm not spending 13 quid on a, on a Kenyan coffee. I, African coffees I don't particularly drink a lot. Um, and yeah, it was a gift. And I'm really glad because then I got to try this. So yeah, four stars, great coffee. Uh, do give it a go. Thank you very much. Do hit those like and subscribe buttons and we'll see you all soon. Take care. Bye-bye.